1915. As First World War escalates, high society decamps to Biarritz. Russian princes and English lords, French counts and Castilian dukes, artists and businessmen retreat to the seaside resort made fashionable by Empress Eugenie. They return to their summer villas looking out onto the waves of the Atlantic. While on leave, Captain Boy Capel whisks Gabrielle away to the Basque coast. The two lovers live fast, attending fashionable parties, intoxicated by the ocean. Coco responds to the growl of the waves with fierce determination. She knows her future will be decided in Biarritz. Here she will open not a boutique, but a couture house. Boy is encouraging and lends her money. Such is her success that she will repay him a year later. On the road leading down to the beach and casino, she finds a sumptuous mansion, sets up a workshop, hires 60 women and brings her sister Antoinette from Paris. Three months later, Chanel opens its doors. Throngs of elegant ladies rush to place orders, offering Gabrielle her first major victory, financial independence. In 1916, she is a success. Harper's Bazaar salutes Chanel's charming chemise dress. 1918, the war is over. Chanel has won her own war. She is head of a company with 300 staff working in Paris, Deauville and Biarritz. Business is booming. She loves her work. It saves her from despair a year later when Boy, the love of her life, is killed in a road accident. Gabrielle tirelessly scrutinizes, observes, invents. She dresses Queen Victoria, Eugenie of Spain, who is vacationing in San Sebastian near Biarritz. The Russian aristocracy exiled in Biarritz and Grand Duke Dmitry Pavlovich inspire her pelisses and embroidered blouses. She hires Russian princesses as embroiderers, models and sales assistants and commissions Ernest Bohr for number no. 5, her first fragrance. And while female bathers endlessly bask in the ocean, take sun cures and discover dance halls, she designs an elegance that allows the personality of every woman to triumph. In 1936, Gabrielle Chanel is an entrepreneur head of 4,000 seamstresses. In a few years, Biarritz has revealed her. She is the woman she wanted to be. Free.